Hello, my name is Felicia Masonheimer, the founder of Every Woman a Theologian. And today's verse is Hebrews 4, 9. There remains then a Sabbath rest for the people of God. This verse is talking about the fourth commandment, the commandment to observe a Sabbath day. Now, this commandment in the Old Testament was given to the people of Israel based on God's example of rest in the creation story in Genesis 1 and 2. In this account, God chooses to rest on the seventh day after he has created the world. God didn't need to rest, but he chose to do so, setting an example for humans who actually are limited and do need to take a break. So when God rested on the seventh day, he made it holy. And Israel was to observe this law by also resting on that seventh day and refraining from all work. Now, Hebrews is making a parallel to a different kind of rest, a rest of perfect fulfillment in Christ. Through the gospel, we receive a rest that is eternal and complete, a rest from not only our work, but from all efforts to save ourselves, from all worry, and from all tension and dissension and division. It's a complete rest of the soul, something that the Sabbath law could not accomplish on its own. So when Hebrews 4 is referring to Sabbath rest, it's not just talking about taking a break on Saturday or Sunday. It's talking about the complete rest that we have when we trust God for the salvation of our souls, but also for every single choice that we make each day. We can truly trust that God has all things in hand as the creator and the savior of the world. And because of that, we can rest.